And this is unlike some other issues that we have to work on. Support for Planned Parenthood and support for access to this health care is, wi is wildly popular in the US. I have yet, I've been doing this work for more than a decade, I've yet to meet a parent who's excited about their teenager getting pregnant when they don't want to be. <laughs> this isn't like, uh, and you can, you can do focus groups of men, they think birth control should be free for everybody everywhere. And so I don't, I think we're actually dealing with a Congress, um, where we can get more into that if you want to. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's uh, again, like uh, more than 90% of women in this yeah. country use birth control. <clears throat> so this isn't like a, a new idea. Uh, I think that the, the point is we have, elected officials and folks who are really out of step, I think, with where America is. And I have said, and I believe, that if more members of Congress could get pregnant, we wouldn't be fighting about birth control and Planned Parenthood. No question. Um, but I do think we, um, so the, the point is, in fact, I think I saw the, it's really kind of ironic, even as they were poised to pass the, the health care bill that would end access to Planned Parenthood. We were at like record favorability. I think like 80% of Americans in some, in the, I think the Quinnipiac poll said that 80% uh, of Americans supported uh, funding for Planned Parenthood. So I just think it's a, I think it's a disconnect. In fact, I think that same, same week a Fox News poll showed the two most popular political entities were Bernie Sanders and Planned Parenthood, and that's Fox News. So it's like, um, <laughs> Uh, but I do think it's important that we also frame this as, as it's important health care. Uh, it, it's important not only the health of women, it's important the health of families. It's important to our economy. And one thing that, that is underreported to me is, uh, I don't know if anyone would just have a rare, just like random guess on what unintended pregnancy costs in this country, cost taxpayers, $21 billion, okay? So uh, every dollar we invest in family planning actually has so much uh, both economic benefit and healthcare benefit. And the other thing that it's important, and I know there's a lot of folks in here probably are not um, currently using birth control or maybe have never had to worry about an unintended pregnancy, but you probably employ people uh, who do uh, or, or related to people who do. Uh, and the fact is women are the backbone of our economy now. And uh, the large, largest reason why we're able to actually participate in the workforce is because we now plan when and whether we have children. Um, you know, back before Planned Parenthood started, before birth control were legal, uh, we were practically uh, like a very incidental part of, of the formal work, workforce. Today, women are um, not only um, breadwinners in more than 40% of the American families, we're half the college students, we are more than half uh, the graduate students and many reasons, and I just, I love this new statistics. Uh, I just read that uh, of the new graduating NASA class of astronauts, half women for the first time in history, okay? <laughs> So, um, more good news. Go for that. But you can't, and I've, and I've heard the president say he wants to rebuild our economy and get people back to work. You cannot build this economy and hold back half of the American people, and that's women. Right.